Hello and welcome to another Affinity Photo tutorial and in this tutorial I want to look at using the diffuse filter to sort of make a portrait image um, which is a bit like the I think they're called like dispersal images where like it looks like the picture is breaking down and sort of you can see all the particles normally you do that with a brush tool and the particles are much bigger with this effect I'm trying to get the dispersing of the pixels but in a much smaller size and it makes it a bit more grainy and a bit more ghostly I think. Um, I've tried it on a few images, like this one and then this is another one and the last one is this one here. Now I think it works quite well with portraits it may work with other images but I'm going to stick with the sort of portrait sort of style and I'm going to try it with this image here so once you have your image you need to make a selection of the person that you are going to be using this on um, you can use whichever tool you feel most comfortable with with making a selection I'm just going to use the selection brush tool and I have it on add let me just increase the brush size a bit so I can get this done a bit quicker and then I'm just going to select this chap here pretty much all of them I think we just do that do a quick check by coming up to the quick mask just to make sure that I've got everything done there that's okay I'll just turn it off and I'll come to refine and I'll just quickly just do a little bit around the hair although I don't think you need to be too finicky about the selection because it's going to be surrounded by this diffused filter sort of grains anyway but I'll just do a quick refine there and then once you've made your selection and refined it what I'm going to do is I'm going to from the output I'm going to drop down menu new layer and then click apply and that will make that selection onto the new layer and turn off the background so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this new layer so you can do control and J or right click it and come down to duplicate then I'm going to come back down and highlight this bottom layer I'm not going to turn it on but what I'm going to do is add a pixel layer above this so I'll just click on the new pixel layer icon there and I'll add that pixel layer and I'm going to flood fill this with white which is already set on now you don't necessarily have to do white I don't think but I think white works best it sort of gives that sort of helps give you that glow effect so once we have that solid white background I'm going to highlight the first of the layers that I have made here of this selection and this is where we're going to use the fuse filter so you come up to filters noise and diffuse and I've cranked this all the way up to 100% and I'll just click apply and once you click apply it will sort of tone that down slightly so that you have a sort of more finer particles let me come off this tall a second so that's what we're starting to get the look that we're after and then so all I'm going to do now but if I just turn off this top layer that is basically you're just diffusing all the pixels and scattering them far and wide but the background is still made up from all the pixels and colors that are in the original picture so 
with this top layer here I'm just going to change the bl blend mode now you can pick whichever blend mode you want I find that lighten on some pictures works quite good screen is another good one and maybe overlay depending on your picture um, I think I'm going to go for screen for now I can always come back to it and then once I have that there I'm going to duplicate that layer and then I'm going to change the blend mode again and we're going to try soft light, hard light you could, even again you could go for overlay yes I think overlay on this particular picture I think overlay works better than soft light I think on the other pictures I use soft light so you still got, you got some of those grains just coming into the edge of this portrait but not obscuring it completely so that really would be the end of the tutorial um, I got the effect that I wanted and you could crop this down if you wanted to sort of make this more of a portrait let's go to there try that so you got this sort of dispersed type image this isn't sort of of the portrait and so you could save it now and export it under a new name or you could maybe take it very slightly further and just add a black and white layer and then tinker with some of these settings just to get a sort of the black and white effect and depending on how far you push these colors and what have you you could make it sort of almost like a drawing type image so you could take it that far or just not have the black and white layer and leave it as your color image so basically that is the end of the tutorial and whichever version you go for you can uh, save and export it under a new name. So thank you for watching and goodbye.